Okay. Hey guys, a little update on the 55. I finally got the door done here. And uh, yeah, it came out pretty nice here. Uh, new door, outer door skin. And right in here. <laughs> I, I saved this part of the door because it's factory stamp set. So I brought the new panel in right along there and got it underneath there. I was not able to do that on this side because I had to uh, get this new hinge bracket in. So the hinge bracket's all welded in place. Uh, the hinges got new uh, pins and bushings in them. And so the door's nice and solid now. Um, and it closes up good, but I got one problem with the latch here. Um, I'm gonna close it and it pulls open. Well, it took me a while to figure out what was going on. And I finally did. So that's in the locked position totally right there. And when I'm pulling on the door, what it's doing is that's allowing that to do. So I got to take this latch off and find out why that's able to uh, to go into that position. It shouldn't be. I shouldn't be able to do that without doing either the uh, door handle. So something's failing there. So I'm going to get to that. Uh, one other issue that I had here was uh, when I bought the vehicle, the wheels, they had these uh, locks on them here and I had no locks. So I got this uh, little tool here from the AutoZone and basically it's just uh, pounded on really good there. And then I just take my ratchet. This one's loose. I'm just showing you for purposes. And then I take this out and I set this in the vise and then take a 3 8 uh, extension and just go down through here and then pound that out it comes out really good and so i got the wheel locks off so that was a big deal so next um this is going to be a cold start uh since i rebuilt the carburetor on my last video and uh, i have ran it and tuned it but this is coming out uh stone cold so we're going to go ahead and uh fire it up Get the carburetor there you got my cameraman's my grandson so there's the rebuilt edelbrock there so just uh one uh, pump and the choke closes so i'll come around here now and come on up a little bit here do you hear the pump liam okay you filming me okay so it's pumped up now and stopped. Just one little tap of the gas and... Okay, let's go back around here. Okay, Liam, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. There's my cameraman right there. Yeah! Yeah. Okay, so it's on fast idle right now with the uh, choke on. But yeah, if you look at the uh, video that I made, the... Uh, first time around walking around the truck then uh, you know you can remember it took me a, a lot of cranking to get the truck going so yeah it's coming around you know and uh, painted the lower balance there that kind of that uh, matte black I'd like to get the uh, bottom part of the truck maybe painted that so we'll give this a little kick down here difference it really runs nice uh, when I first got the truck they had the battery on the uh, alternator and the hose here I actually just did a fast uh, it worked out pretty good just for driving it around I got it on the uh, top control arm right now but uh, yeah I'm gonna it actually has a uh, place for the battery under the floorboard I don't really like that I think I'll come up with something else but anyways yeah that's about it the running of the truck now runs out real nice so all right guys well that's it for this video uh yeah comment and uh here i'll do one uh 